Hello everyone, I'm Farah Shartovic. I'm Iman Jafarovic. And this is our project, uh, The Fennel Flush. So we have noticed the problem of, of water getting pulled by heavy metals, especially in our country. And that was um, uh, lowered the percentage of, and that lowers the percentage of uh, safe drinking waters in our country and even broader. So we tried to test our um, fennel seeds uh, which is rich in our country, and tested as a biosorbent uh, to remove those heavy metals. As Iman said, uh, we decided to use uh, fennel seeds as a biomass, as an adsorbent to remove all of these heavy, heavy metals from industrial wastewater. And that, of course, included creating optimal conditions, which turned out to be an optimal mass of 300 milligrams per liter of biomass, a contact time of 12 minutes and a pH of 6.8 and the initial concentration of each analyzed metal uh, was 50 milligrams per liter since we purposefully uh, contaminated some water to test it. And then after finding our results to be very efficient at a percentage of 22.7 with a non-modified uh, bio seed and uh, 25.8 with a modified biomass, uh, we decided to try it with actual industrial wastewater. And we got uh, respectively that it removes PBCU, CR and CD ions, even from real uh, from a real wastewater sample. So these are our aims of the project. We have here exploring cost effective methods from water purification. We want to produce a more efficient biosorbent by modifying fennel seeds with NaOH. Also proving the biosorption, the biosorption power of native and modified fennel seeds. Creating better circumstances for clean drinking water. And our last uh, aim of the project is eco-friendly way of removing heavy metals from Of course, the most important factor here is the future aspect of our pro project, which is why we decided to create two models in which we could implement this project further, which would include uh, one model using gravel and sand, the normal sample in which uh, wastewaters are usually cleaned, and the other model would be something using renewable energy, using a solar panel and sunlight, which would also be very sustainable and helpful to our cause. To show all of our progress through graphs, this is the influence of biosorbent mass that it has on uh, the actual extraction of uh, CDCR, CU, and PP ions. And here we see that the difference between 300 and 400 milligrams of biosorbent mass is very big when you look at it at CR and CU ions. But uh, CD and PB ions, 400 milligrams per liter of biomass seems to remove more, but it's an insignificant amount to the amount of biomass that would be used in the long term. So we decided to go with an op optimal mass of 300 milligrams per liter, which would be more sustainable. We also decided to test how treated biomass and modified biomass uh, react next to each other and how big the results, uh, the difference in results is. And here we see that the modified biomass actually removes a bit more. And that is also very much uh, beneficial to us. And uh, the modification doesn't take much money. It can be done in a normal lab just using NaOH. It's very uh, affordable. Using modified biomass is furthermore a better decision for all of us. Using fennel seeds as a biosorbent is proven to be very efficient with removing heavy metals uh, from wastewater. The biosorption efficiency was achieved when the biosorbent uh, mass was 300 milligrams, and that was the best uh, biosorption efficiency, and that a, con a contact time of 12 minutes was required. Uh, this gave us the best um, results from uh, removing those heavy metals and we could help uh, our country using that panel seeds and even broader in, in every country.